Are you wanting to create a session report with Tableau? Well in this Tableau for Sports Science tutorial, we'll start creating a session report comparing our data to game norms. So stay tuned. If you're finding my videos for the first time, make sure you hit like and subscribe below for more. Alright guys, in this video we're going to start recreating the Power BI for Sports Science uh, session report within Tableau. Uh, so we're going to get started straight away and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to slightly adjust our data setup. So we previously used a join, so in here we had left joined our athlete table. We're going to remove that and close there and we're going to create a relationship. These are a little bit easier to work with, in my opinion anyway. Um, so we're going to use this to help us to create our game norms. The first thing we're going to do though is we're going to create um, a parameter. So I already have one here, but I'm going to delete it. And a parameter is a way of being able to, uh, I guess, create a data value from outside your data set. So we're going to call this selected date. And we're going to select data type as date. And we're going to use allowable values as a list. And we're going to use that from uh, date. So every time it opens, it will refresh our data set here. All right. And then our current value is going to be the 27th of the 1st. And then the next thing we're going to need to do is create a, um, a calculated field. And for this, we're going to call this a date filter. And all it is going to be is if date from our data set is equal to our selected date, then true, else, false, and end. So that is our calculation. We click apply. I'm going to add this filter here. And we're just going to choose true. Okay. So then now if we add our total distance here, we get this as our value. So let's add this as an average. And we can see for that day, we have 3,821. So now if we add these to our dashboard here, so we've got our our visual there and then we need to go to analysis parameters and selected date so now we've got this on the side if we change our date field you can see our data adjust as well so if there's nothing there there was nothing on that day simple so let's remove those for now all right so our next step is we're wanting to compare this this value here to a game norm and so this is quite simple as well, is we're going to create another calculated field. And all we're going to call this is uh, team norm TD. And we're just going to go uh, average. And we're going to use the TD from our athlete table. So we're going to apply that there. So now if we were to add this here, for example, now let's just go as a tooltip. We can see it's TD norm is 10.822. So now if we go and we create another calculated field and we call this uh, percentage of norm and we'll just call that TD, we're going to go average again and this time we need total distance from our training load and then divide it by team norm TD. We're going to hit apply, OK. So now let's adjust our field here. So we can see here it is now 5966. So that's a percentage. So if we want to do that, we can change the data type. Uh, sorry, default properties, number format, call a percentage. We can leave one decimal place. We'll go OK. So now if we look, it's 59.7. So there's our value, and if we wanted to, we can change it to, uh, let's just go automatic, we'll leave it for now like this. Um, you can change it to a value, so you could have a, 
let's go with a circle and we don't want this to be there so we just need a label for example and because uh, we want this to show up we need to adjust our let's change the value of that to white hit our value make sure we're getting this to appear and we need it to be centered as well let's go middle okay so now what we can do let's just add this color here like that what we can do here is we could change our label too we can go uh, total distance and then what we could have underneath if we hit enter is planned as well so that's something we can add soon but for now we'll leave this what we can do is we can change the size of our circle to be as big as we want so let's just leave it say like that and we'll just change the color for now to say that you know maybe it was a good session so if we add this on here now we can make this floating and we can remove hide eye title and then what we could do is let's go back to the sheet and let's change the size of our text slightly we don't need it to be this big let's go say 12 head back to our dashboard and there we go so what we can do is we can change the size of our sheet and let's use say an A4 let's go letter size so we've got that there if we want it. What we could do is we've got a horizontal, let's add that in there. So now let's go and create some more of our cards. We just want to move this to here. And let's create this like as wide as we can. There we go, so we've got that. Let's go to total distance. Let's just uh, duplicate this and then let's just change the value that we're going to use here to player load. So let's call this page player load. And then now we're going to do the exact same things that we did here. So what we could do is duplicate this and then edit it. And we can call this uh, team norm PL. And then let's just change the value to PL. And then now let's duplicate this as well. Edit PL. And we need player load. And we need PL. And so now we just need to add this as our value and then change the name of this to player load and apply. Let's go back to our dashboard and now we're going to add this into our, let's add this on here floating and we want to add this into our, uh, oh, it doesn't want me to do it today. We want to add this into our layout. So we've got our total distance. Ah, so it's saying we're not in a tiled value at the moment. So let's remove this from the dashboard. And what we want to do is we want to add a horizontal tile. Let's remove this, hide. We're going to add that into there. So let's just see if we still got it. Yes, we do. Let's see, can we add this into here? Yes, we can. Let's see if we can. Oh, let's go undo. We want to add it to the other side. So there we go. Now we've got our tiled um, layout. And what we want to do is select the container. Oops. And we can now rearrange where we want this to be and how wide we want this to be. And it'll evenly distribute everything within it. So you can see there, they're both evenly distributed across. So if we were to add, 
let's just duplicate this and we'll just call this uh, for when we update this to band 5. If we go back to our dashboard, go to add this in, let's just add this as floating again. We'll hide the title, make sure we still have our and we add it in and we can see it just shifts everything across again. Let's do the same thing, duplicate this and we'll call it band 6 and then one more we'll call band 7. Again, we'll add it on as a floating card, hide the title, add it in. Again, floating, add it in, hide the title. So there you have uh, some cards up the top. We can obviously rename these here as well. And let's call this high speed distance. Let's just call it high speed. We'll make it simple. Call this one very high speed. And then the last one, Sprint. There we go. So there we have our five metrics of interest and we can see what we've done for today. We haven't had obviously changed our high speed through to Sprint. Um, but before we come back next time, I'll make sure that is changed and I'll show you uh, those new values. Um, and then when we come back next time, we will add our planned values below. And then we'll also use that to change the color of our background. So we get a little warning like we have in our Power BI reports. But for now, this is a very quick and simple start to show you how to create little cards within Power, uh, Tableau. Sorry. Uh, what I'll do is I will add this to Tableau Public so you guys can look in the future. But one last thing actually before we go, we should be adding our parameter. So let's make this floating as well. And we can leave this just here at the top for now. And if we were to change this, we can see our values change as well. So there we have it. We have a nice parameter to change our data. Uh, and we have our cards that we've created. If you've liked this video, please make sure you hit like and subscribe below. And I will see you next time where we will continue to power performance through data using Tableau. Thank you. Thank you.